New York City. Um, I grew up there half of my life, and then I moved to Washington, D.C. Um, you know, I started playing basketball when I was probably eight, eight years old, you know, just for fun, you know, just playing in the neighborhood. And, um, you know, as the years went on, you know, you play here and there at local recreation centers, you know, with the other kids in the neighborhood, you know, one guy and make up some teams and then you'll play. It was all for fun. Um, did I think I would play for a profession? No, but, you know, things change, you know, as life goes on, you know. So I began to play around eight years old for fun, and then when I took it serious, my 10th grade year in high school, so I had to be about 15, 16. And who, who take you from the school and put you on the NBA? Uh, um, my first year in high school, high school in America begins ninth grade. You have ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th, four years of high school. And my ninth grade year, you know, I was, you know, just a regular kid. You know, I go to school, go to class. I didn't play any sports, but my friend played, a friend of mine. And I used to go to his games all the time, and he played for the school. And um, one of the coaches seen me and him playing against each other one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, he asked me, he said, hey, have you ever played, you know, organized basketball? And then I told him I was like, no. And um, he was like, you know, do you mind coming out and trying for the summer league team? And I was like, uh, nah, I just, you know, I'm here because of my friend. And, uh, you know, he was like, look, if you ever change your mind, you know, we'd like to, you know, have you come out. So I didn't come out that summer, you know. I just was with my friend, you know, I let him do his thing. And uh, they were playing in the summer league tournament for the high schools, and they were in the playoffs. This was the first round of the playoffs for them. And it was traffic, so all the players, they weren't at the game on time. So they needed somebody to play, because they had four, but they needed one more. And I'm sitting in the stands waiting to watch my friend, and he comes over, he said, hey, um, now we need one player, man. He said, I know you don't want to play, man. You're not ready, not prepared, but, man, just come play until the other guys get here. So I'm like, ah. Uh. So I, you know, to help my friend, you know, I did it. I went out there and played. And it was funny because before we started, the coach come to me and said, hey, if you get the ball, just wait to give it to the give it to, you know, the other guy and let him do everything. So, you know, I laugh, you know, because I know I'm good inside. You know, nobody ever seen me play, but I know. So, you know, the whole first half, I'm giving him the ball every time. And then I'll just, you know, play defense, rebound, give him the ball, but I wouldn't shoot. So, second half, they were probably down by six at halftime. And when we came back, my friend come to me and say, hey, man, play, play, man. We need, we need to win so we can go to the next round. So I'm like, all right. So, you know, I just played my game. In the uh, second half, man, I finished with like 12 points, you know, six rebounds. You know, it was a good game. But they weren't expecting it. So after the game, the coach came to me. He's like, hey, man, you're pretty good, huh? He said, man, listen. You, you never took basketball serious? And I was like, nah. And then, from that day forward, you know, he just stayed on me. Like, hey, come on, let's, I think it's good for you. You know, you can stay from out of the neighborhood, you can do something good, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, that's when it all began for me. Yeah, it, it, I'm, it's, it's, it's cool. Um, you... You mean five game series, and then the championship game, just one game? The final one? Yeah, the final game, championship, one game. I don't think that's a fair enough format because, you know, you work hard three rounds, 
five games each, and then you play one game at the the top seeds home court. You know, it, it, you you just never know. You know, one team could have a, a a game, a bad game where they miss every shot and you lose. One team we can make every shot and win and beat the top seed. You know, it can go either way. All could be a good game all the way to the end, and everybody will say, hey, man, that was a great final game, you know? But I think if you're going to do five-game series, the first three rounds, then the last round should at least be three, a three-game series, you know? Home court, you know, away, then back at the home court. You know, I think that's, you know, a fair format. But this is how they've been doing for, you know, years, so... Man, playing in the NBA, man, was an a, a amazing, you know, feeling. You know, a lot of the guys that you looked up to as you grew up were already there. And then a lot of the guys that you played against growing up, you know, y'all all, some of y'all made it there together. It's a dream, you know, it's a dream come true. Once you begin to play the game of basketball, the game of football or baseball, that's what you inspire to do, you know, make it to the next level. And, um, you know, to achieve that dream, you know, it, it was a great feeling. Like like you said, um, as far as it comparison to MBB, I tell people all the time, I'm in Brazil. MBB is like the NBA of Brazil. You know, every country has a league and the number the top league is like the NBA in America has the best Brazilian players playing in this league. The top teams have, you know, the national team guys and then there's some good guys that's, you know, sprinkled around on the different other teams. So I say, of course, we know the level of competition is a lot higher. But, you know, it, I'm playing against the best Brazilians. You know, I'm one of the top Americans. You know, we all can't have a job in America. I want to say it's 364 64 players that can play in the NBA. You know, so it's only one league. So the top players, like all of the top players are not going to be there. They look for players that fit certain teams. You know, it's all about timing, opportunity, contract differences, you know. So, you know, the, the, the difference is the level, you know. You know, we have the greats over there. Yeah, I have some great players that play there. So, obviously, if the right opportunity presents itself, you know, the guys that work hard in Brazil might have a shot to play in the NBA one day, you know. If not, they'll play here. So... You know, the competition, you know, it varies. It's different. Well, a few, a few of the guys were already in the play, was in the NBA. You know, like Baby, uh, Marquinhos, Lucas, Tisha. And, you know, I like Marquinhos. You know, I think, you know, he's a very good, you know, player. He's a big guard. You know, playing a two position. He can play the two three if he was in the NBA. And I think he would do good. You know, um, as far as young guys that I see, it's maybe one or two that have the potential to play, but they have to have the confidence, they have to understand that. Every day you have to work hard and you have to work at the same level or higher, you know, in order to get there. Because there, man, they, 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 you push it to the limit. You push it to the limit and, like, you don't think, okay, I'm here and I'm okay. Every day we're trying to get better. We're trying to get better. You know, we're not trying to stay here. So if you have that mentality as a Brazilian to get better and get better into master the game, then yeah, you have you have a shot. You know, I think it's a few young guys now, one on my team, you know, that could possibly have a chance to play there. But, you know, they just have to change their mindset and just continue to work. 
God shooting God, but certain teams I've played the forward position. You know, it just depends on you know the game. You know, each game is different. You know, if the if 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 the the big man gets a few fouls and we want to change the lineup to a small lineup because I play hard, you know, because I play with my heart, you know, because I'm strong, you know, I can play against, you know, a bigger guy. Because I'm smart, you know, I know how to put them in different positions so we can have an advantage. You know, the coaches, you know, they see that and they, they say, man, let's use you, you know, at this position, you know, for this game or I think it's best for this team that we use you here. But, you know, as you can see, man, I, I can do everything, you know, on the court. So if I'm out there, you know, I'm going to rebound. I'm going to get steals. I'm going to, you know, handle the basketball. I'm going to pass. I'm going to shoot. So, you know, hey, if you, wanna, if you want me to play at the power forward, if that's how I'm going to get some minutes, then I'll play. But, you know, all my life I was the guard. You know, I, I was the playmaker. You know, I create for my guys. And then I take, you know, my opportunity when it presents itself, you know, to score and, you know, just to take over the game. It's, it's an honor to be supported, you know, by the fans of Franklin. And, um, you know, if, if, that's, if that's the name, you know, they've chosen for me, then, you know, you know I, tell, I accept it, you know, with open arms. And, you know, it, it's, 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 just, it's just me, you know. It's just me just staying positive, man, uh, working hard every day with my teammates and just being ready. You know, um, we know how the season has, you know, gone, you know, as far as playing time and the situation. But, you know, now it's the playoffs. And if we want to win, then things have to change. And, you know, if I'm out there, man, you know, I'm going to give it my all, you know, and I'm, I'm going to work hard. And so far, it's been good, you know. We won the first round. You know, I've played well. I've helped my teammates play well. My teammates have helped me play well. And, you know, we're just looking forward to continuing, you know, to play, you know, good together. So, you know, it's an honor. It's an honor. I accepted, you know, the name from the fans. And it's cool. Man, I always say uh, turkey would have to be, you know, my favorite. And the reason being is because that's where I won my first championship. Uh, and it was an experience, you know, I'm my first professional championship. You know, it's a great league, one of the top leagues in Europe, you know. Um, I was playing EuroLeague, you know, we did. We, we, we had a good run in EuroLeague. We came up short in the, in the uh, top eight. And um, it, it was just, it was my first experience outside of America, you know. That's when I left the NBA and then I went straight to Turkey. My first experience for a different world, you know. So I was learning. I was playing a game that I loved with a great team. And we won, you know. So that was my best season. And, you know, that's the country I like the most. But it's other good countries, you know that I've played and um, I like, but Turkey's my top. Um, um, well, I played in Germany. I played in Germany and for, I, I went there for five months. So Turkey, I played for a year. I went to Germany for five months. We went to the championship and we ended up losing game seven at home, no, game six at home um, against the top team. And my team, when I got there, you know, we was in the middle of the, of the, of the rankings. And, you know, we worked hard. You know, I came, you know, I, I brought some chemistry to the team, different chemistry. And, man, we, we, we won a lot of games in a row and gave ourselves that, that, that opportunity to play in the championship, and it was great. After that, 
I went back to the NBA and um, I had signed, you know, a deal with the Miami Heat. Um, right before the first game of the season, I was released, you know, for contract reasons. Um, and then after that, I went to France. I went to France. I was in Paris for a month. Uh, that was cool. And then I, you know, I was everywhere. I played in uh, Greece. I played in uh, the Philippines. I played in the Dominican Republic. Played in Venezuela. Played in Mexico. And I played in China. And then also, you know, here in Brazil. And so I've been everywhere, man. It seems like I'm leaving something out, but. You know, I've been all over Europe, man, and then, you know, South America as well. Well, you know, each each each, each experience is, 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 is different, of course. And um, when I was here before, you know, we had a, a, a older team, a team with a lot of guys that had some experience. And, uh, you know, we did good things that year. This year, I returned, and it's a completely different team, like you said, with a lot of young guys. And for me, I've had to accept certain things with this team that I probably wasn't used to because I'm used to playing with, you know, guys, you know, my age or older than me. So... You know, I, I like this team, man. There's a lot of guys, man, that's growing, you know, as players and as people. And their future is bright. For the team from the past, you know, I had my time. We had fun. We had a good run. We went to the playoffs, had a good season. And those guys that other teams, they're playing well. So, you know, each experience has been different, man. Right now, you know, I, I've been helping these guys from – you know, my experiences and the knowledge of the game that I have, I've been helping them and trying to, you know, help them get better each and every day. And, and I enjoy that because that's what it's about. It's about putting in the hard work and then being able to share it with, you know, others so that they can be better and, and do better. So, you know, the team I'm with now, this is my team, man. And, 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 and we're and we, and we looking to get to that championship, man. So... You know, I'm fighting with these guys, and, you know, that's where I'm at. Fans are great. Fans are great. Of course. Of course, like any fans in the world, man, if, 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 if you're not playing well as a team, you know, they're going to let you know, you know. But, you know, that that's just them being entertained, you know. When you're supporting somebody and, and, and you want the best for them, you know, you, you you feel like you're a part of them, you know? You like we I'm Franker, we're Franker, man. And if you see something wrong, you like, man, change it, you know, or if it's going right, then you like, let's go. So, you know, the fans are fans, man. I love them, you know, like as long as we're doing it, you know, what we're supposed to do, that, that's what the fans are for. You know, the fans are there to watch the game, support. If things aren't going right, you know, they'll let you know if they don't like it. But, you know, they come out every night. They support us. You know, when we look into the stands, you know, we appreciate them there. And uh, like I said, man, even the ones that don't make it on the road, like, you know, you guys did and some other fans, we still feel that energy. You know, we still play for you guys along with the others that spare, you know? So, it's good. The referees, man, they're human, you know, just like us. Uh, you know, they have good nights, they have bad nights. You know, they make good calls, they make bad calls. You know, we make shots, we miss shots. You know, we turn the ball over. You know, we think we get fouled, we think we did not foul, you know? so. You know, as far as the referees, man, I think they're working hard. You know, I think they're also learning each and every day, each and every game, you know, about, you know, just being better. You know, everybody's working to be better. So, you know, I respect the referees, man. I, I, I can imagine their job and, and what they have to go through. 
So, you know, for me, I, I have no problem with him. You see, I, I don't argue with him. You know, I might go talk to him, you know, like people, because that's what they are, you know. And like I said, they make mistakes. You know, they, they do a good job. And, you know, I, I, I like them. You know, at the end of the day, see, I'm, I'm neutral. I'm a neutral guy. I'm in the middle with everything, you know. Like, I'm do my job. And if you ask me about somebody else, you know, I step outside and I'll say, well, hey, I understand their situation. I understand their position. And, you know, I respect it. I'm never angry. But, you know, what few, what fuels, what, 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 what makes what's my passion for the game is, is, is just the the hard work that I put in, you know, I, I worked hard, man, since I was a little kid, you know, once I decided that I was going to play basketball, I always work hard, and whenever I'm in the gym, you know, I'm pushing myself, you know, to the next level, I'm trying to get better, I'm trying to work on different things, and, you know, when it's time for me to step on the court, man, I want to be able to use all my ability, you know, and, and, and the opponent, is is what you know makes me you know want to go yeah motivates me because I know that they're trying to win I know that you know there's good players on the other side I want to show that I'm the better player and my team is the better team so you know just you know just the competition you know you have to have that you have to have some type of you know something inside you that makes you go and everybody has different things you know but my passion for the game is just you know high you know my like my will so if I can't give you my all it's hard for me and you know I might not feel good but if you let me do everything that I can do so at the end of the game I can say if we win ah you know but if we lose I can say it was me you know, and I have to work harder because next time we need to win. You know, I can put it on my shoulder. And a lot of guys think like that, but, you know, you really have to put the work in, the hard work in, in order to, you know, you know, feel like that. The best player I played with, <laughs> LeBron James. Man, when I was, uh, when I, when I, when I played in the NBA, my first season, I played with the Chicago Bulls. Then my second season, I got traded to Cleveland. And this is when LeBron was there. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, he's a great player. He's, he's probably the best player in the world right now. Um, like I said, I was with the Miami Heat, so I also played with Dwayne Wade. Um, those two guys right there. My, the best coach that I've had, I would have to say my high school coach because he had to deal with a different person, you know. Like I said, I wasn't playing basketball then. So he had to grab me by my ear, you know, by my shirt, drag me in the gym. And once he got me in the gym, man, he had... I needed to be disciplined, you know. He had to, he had to work with the, you know, a diamond. You know, it, it, when you first get it, it's a, it's a rock, you know, and you gotta, you gotta clean it. You got, you know, break it down. And he's the one that had to deal with the rough edges. You know, he's the one that had to teach me the game. So if it wasn't for him, then I wouldn't be where I'm at today. But each coach along the way, you know. They had their special, you know, place with me, their special, you know, you know, asset, you know, that they instilled. Man, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. And I was a rookie, and, you know, <laughs> Kobe is Kobe, man. <laughs> it, it, it's crazy because the first time I played against him, we was playing in L.A., and L.A. is known for celebrities, for entertainers, for actors, and, you know, just wealthy people, you know, in America that's well-known. So 
when you go there, it's, it's like a show. You know, you get to see all the famous people from TV, from you know other other sports things like that coming to you know watch the game. So I'm a rookie. I didn't expect to play this game. You know, and I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the view. You know, I'm I'm looking in the crowd. I'm seeing celebrities. I'm seeing you know Jack Nicholson, Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg. I'm seeing people that I watch the movies. So you know. I'm at the NBA, but I'm looking like, man, wow, this is cool. And um, Kobe was on the court. So, you know, I'm watching the show. Um, man, he came out on fire. And I want to say the first half he had probably 36 points. But the end of the second quarter, maybe like three minutes left, before halftime, sitting at the end of the bench, and it's a timeout, and they say, Eddie, they call my name. And when they call my name, you know, I wasn't paying attention. So, you know, I'm just looking in the crowd, like, Eddie, Eddie, I'm like, what? Hey, they're like, man, go, you, go, go in the game. I said, go in the game? Why? Man, coach called you, go in the game, man. Check Kobe. I'm like, man, wow. Rookie, I haven't played all game, you know. I'm set the bench, I'm, you know, cold. I'm like, oh, I gotta get warmed up. Get to the table, I take off my, you know, jersey, and I get going to the game. I gotta check Kobe. And, you know, he put some moves on me, you know. I fouled him. I'm trying to get my energy going, but, you know, Kobe's Kobe, man. I, I had to play like three possessions of defense on him. And, you know, he had some good moves. But, you know, just the fact that you know it's Kobe, man. And like I said, he had 36 points right before halftime. So to throw me in there, you know, I was just like, man, what you want me to do? You know, want, want me to stop him? You know, so, you know, that was the toughest matchup. But it was a lot of tough guys, man. I, you know, when I was in the NBA, I had to – I was – I was the defensive guy, defensive specialist, you know, and um, had to check everybody, man. I had to check Allen Iverson, you know, Richard Hamilton, Ray Allen, you know, all the, all the top guys, man. So, at that time, so, you know, it was tough, man. But it was fun, too, because, you know, I had pride, you know. I can play defense. Like, you know, I'm a man just like they are men. So, when we, when we faced off against each other, I was ready. You know, I didn't get embarrassed, you know, but that he was the best that I played against, you know. So, you know, I held my own, man, and, and, and that's and when I tell people these stories, man, they be like, wow. But they got to realize, man, they human people just like we are. Yeah, they have, you know, special abilities and different talents, but you also have talent abilities. And, you know, this is what, you know, your, your heart is what, you know, gives you that edge. So, you know, it was good. But Kobe was the, the best. Um I like to I like to play San Jose. Man. The reason why because they they've kind of been like our rival, you know? When I was here before, we used to have good games. When I was here in 2011, we had good games against them. You know, we always fought against each other real tough, and, and they'll win, we will win. And then we ended up playing them in the playoffs when I was here in 2011, and they beat us. So, you know, it'll be good. It'll be cool, you know, to meet back up with them. Revenge. Yeah, a little revenge. But uh, either, either team, man, it doesn't matter. You know, at this point, man, it, it, it's, it's, it's all about what we do, what Franka does, you know. And we have to just go out there and, 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 and give it, you know, our best. We have to take, you know, throw the first punch, man. And we got to play our game. We can't let the other team play their game and we re react. We have to act and then make them react, you know. So it doesn't matter. But San Jose would be good for a revenge game. In May, this May, next month, 
So have have plans for next season? If you can choose, you'd like to stay here. Um, next season, um, man, I really, I really like Franklin, you know. And if, if the situation, you know, is right, and you know, it, it's best for me, then yes, you know, I would return. But um, you know, we never know. Of course, we have to weigh the different options, see what the plans are for the team next year, see what the plans are, you know, for my future. You know, because wherever I go after this season, man, like, I need to be playing, you know, and I expect to be playing like I played before, 30 minutes a game, you know, and just out there having fun, man, enjoying the game, you know, that, you know, I love. So, you know, things just have to be different and have to be, you know, designed, you know, for me to be able to bring a team to my level so we can be the best team we can be, you know?